not that I don't want you here Yeah, yeah It's something about the way you stare into my eyes I know that I don't make me Alright, you are Two more left, 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 two, two, two more left Pisces and Aries. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and do Pisces June 2020. Thank you guys so so much. I appreciate all the love, all the likes, all the shares, all the love, guys. Thank you guys for growing the family. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hit the like, hit that share, turn on the notifications so you'll be notified of my videos, baby. Alright, and we're gonna get into it. Alright, we're gonna see what's going on for June 2020 for my Pisces. My Pisces. My Pisces, collectively, thank you. What are the messages for my Pisces? Collectively, thank you. Devil, you guys can have Leo in your chart, or there's a need, like, you guys can be dealing with um, your mother, maternal figures, feminine energy as well, Pisces. But I got the devil, because the, this also popped up in Leo reading as well, so I feel like there's a need for you guys to definitely watch Leo's reading, okay? Pisces, watch Leo's reading. I don't care if you don't have Leo in your chart, watch it, because I feel like it may have some type of um, insight for you, okay? So, the devil, I'm getting attachment, okay, codependency, okay? Some of you guys can, it's like toxicity, okay? Um, dealing with the wrong people. Dealing with the wrong people. Devil is also attachment, like obsessive. Greedy, greediness when it comes to like food, alcohol, weed, okay, when it comes to sex, when it comes to being, um, wanting to be known, wanting to be in the limelight, okay, devilish energy, like trying to feed your flesh, like you're not operating out of your higher emotions, some of you guys can be operating out of your lower selves at this time, okay, but I'm also getting you or someone else can also be obsessive or stalkerish as well, okay, like you, like, I'm getting someone's driving by someone's house, okay, or someone's, like, watching someone's social media, okay? So, Pisces, and this could be a girl, this could be a guy, okay? So, let's see what's going on. Pisces, collectively, June 2020, money. Money, Pisces, Pisces. Let's see what's going on. So, I definitely see that you guys, the Emperor Reverse, there's some type of foundation. I feel like you guys are trying to build on your own foundation here. You guys can also be holding something close to your chest. Some of you guys are not being honest about your job situation, whether you lost a job or whether you need more money, whether you need help. Some of you guys are not being honest about that, okay? The Nine of Cups, I feel like there's a need for you guys to be open, okay? Or you guys are realizing that you are getting your wish fulfilled. But I'm also getting there's a need for you guys to not, like, I'm getting, like, not, not, uh, like, make sure you're not doing something that's gonna, like, jeopardize who you are, jeopardize your soul, jeopardize your spirit, okay? Don't sell your soul, okay? Don't be doing stuff to, for just whatever, okay? Justice reverse. There's some type of legal situation here. I feel like some of you guys are not gonna feel, are not gonna be happy with some type of settlement or some type of, of decision here. Because I feel like the seven of cups reverse, some of you guys are not thinking clearly about some type of, uh, uh, legal matter, court case. This can be child support. This can also be a fair decision when it comes to, like, a traffic ticket or um, some type of decision in general, okay, where I feel like you guys are, like, feeling like, why did it not come to me? Why did I not get it? That type of thing. The moon reverse. I feel like there's some type of secret that's going to be exposed here, and this is your energy. So I feel like, Pisces, this can also be you uh, trying to hide your own shadow side here. And that's, like... You can't hide from yourself, Pisces. I mean, people could, like, you could wreak your shadow side. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, if you try to hide your shadow side, the devilish side of you is going to keep coming out, if that makes sense, okay? The Eight of Cups reverse. I feel like there's a need for you guys to, uh, you guys know that whatever is going on when it comes to your finances, Pisces, you guys know that you guys are needing to walk away from something. You guys need to let go of something or emotionally uh, you're still disturbed about something. You you can't let go of somebody, okay? I feel like the Empress of Earth, this is someone that you wanted to either get pregnant. You, you've, seen, you've seen growth with here. I'm also, some of you guys are trying to decide what to say or how to communicate here. 
when it comes to this person, this situation. Three of Pentacles reverse. I'm also getting you guys could have been in some type of group situation contract here or giving your money to three or four different individuals here. But I feel like your money was there was no return. You also you also collaborated with people or you decided to say yes to collaborating with something with someone. And I feel like that's uh, that's not going to work out well. OK, I'm also getting some of you guys maybe realizing that someone doesn't want to work with you because of some type of uh, like. <clears throat> if you're not able to A, B, and C, someone's not going to want to get into business or partner with you because they see that, okay? The temperance. I'm also thinking some of you guys are also needing to balance your, like, you guys, things are balancing out here, okay, when it comes to your money. But I feel like your relationships, your relationships are a big part of this. Your connections are a big part of, like, how you make your money. I definitely feel like there's a relationship here. There's somebody that you wanted as your wife, your girlfriend, your husband, whatever. And I feel like something didn't happen or some you're emotionally you're upset because you wanted something to happen when it came to this relationship, this connection. This doesn't have to be a sexual thing. This can be a friend thing. But I feel like a lot of you guys, there were some type of feelings involved. Okay. Sex involved. Some of you guys may have also have been being, having dreams here about you being pregnant by someone or you, or you wanting to get someone pregnant here. But I'm also getting like, you guys can also be feeling, um, some of you guys can be drinking a lot or you're overly anxious here, up at night here, the moon reverse because of some something that was exposed about you not, like, it's like something that you didn't let go or emotionally you're, you're knowing you have to walk away from something, but you still be around it. You're still involved with it. Okay. And I feel like there's some type of secret that's going to be illuminated. There's some type of secret Pisces that you guys were holding back or were weren't wanting weren't wanting you didn't want you didn't want someone to know. Didn't want them to find out. I'm also like a secret this secret could have also been that you you or you were involved with a group situation or there was some type of collaboration contract that you signed or deal that you agreed to here and I feel like you're not getting the effort that the, the return okay and some of you guys can be very angry okay I'm also getting like fighting yelling anger okay so just temper your emotions I'm also some of you guys can also be coming to me to like to try to find balance here or get balance in a situation Before you come to me, Pisces, okay, breathe. And let all of that shit go. And then come and talk to me, okay? Like, ground yourself. Ground yourself. Pisces, maybe that's a need for you guys to do that before you speak to anybody in general, okay? Just breathe. Pisces, collectively... What are your messages? Thank you. Sun, moon, rising. You and your boo. You and your boo, Pisces. What are the messages, Pisces? Okay. So you guys can be dealing with a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They could be any side here. I do see that you guys have made a decision on whether you want to stay or go in a situation. Okay, I feel like a lot of you guys are returning to the past or there's someone from the past that's popping up. You, I'm, I'm getting like, you're still holding, like, you're still holding on to someone that you may have dealt with in the last six months, six weeks here. Okay, or it's like, you're, something that you left, you're returning back to. Okay, the five of swords, I feel like, the four swords is a need for you guys to not be so defensive. Where some of you guys are trying to decide how you're gonna come at somebody communication. Some of you guys are also trying to decide uh, to not be so defensive here when speaking to somebody. The eight of pentacles. It's like some of you guys are trying to work on building something, okay? Or like putting in the work, okay? Like it's like you guys are wanting to put in the work towards somebody here. You're wanting to give somebody an offer, okay? Or this is them to you. I definitely feel like you guys have mastered your emotions here, but it's someone's definitely coming in. Like, if you're a guy or a girl, Pisces, you're like, look, I know that this, this, and this happened, 
But look, I want you. Like, I can't stop thinking about you. Like, you transform me. You change me. Like, I just see, like, you bring me peace. You make me happy. Like, I can see me growing with you. I want to... I want to put time, energy, and effort into you. Like, I want to give love to you, okay? I know that you may may have me blocked. This is what you might be saying to someone, okay? What someone's saying to you. But I, this is your reading, so I feel like this is what you're saying to somebody else, okay? You're wanting to balance out a situation, okay? Because you're also realizing that things are not harmonious and balanced when it comes to the people or the situations that you've been dealing with. When it comes to love. Nine of Pentacles reverse. You've been having to pay out 90 to 900. Or you're having to buy this person's love. It's like it's not real love. It's like this is just static. This is just uh, material shit. Okay? The Two of Swords reverse. Some of you guys have made a decision to detach. The Devil reverse. To, to, to get yourself off the hamster wheel. To get yourself out of this toxic situation. Or some of you guys are realizing that you are attached. Or someone is attached to you here. The Three of Swords. There is some type of separation. There is some type of heartbreak. The Ten of Wands reverse, and I feel like a lot of you, uh, a lot of you guys can be either realizing that you're in a third party situation, or you went back. It's like you went back to somebody, like a you went back to like a marriage or a relationship, okay? But I feel like someone, someone was lying, cheating, sneaking around here. I feel like there's gonna be some type of breakup. I'm also gonna get there's some type of loss here when it comes to money, or you guys have already been through this, and you guys are going through this again with the same person. Okay, and I feel like you guys are feeling burdened, like you guys are also feeling defeated as well. I definitely feel like there's a need for you guys to, in the month of June, Pisces, just like take your time, take your rest. Okay, you being defensive is because of your actions, your choices here. It's because of what you've either done, you've either said, or things, people, situations that you've either tried, tried to like side swipe one up, or this is how this love situation or whatever this is for you has played out for you in the month of June, okay? So, please breathe before you talk to people is also what I'm getting, all right? I'm also getting when it comes to a love situation, there's just definitely going to be some, like, illumination. I definitely feel like there's going to be a lot of shifts, shifts and switching here, switching partners, shifting emotion, um, shifting your gut. Okay, whether you're a guy or a girl, I don't know what that means. Y'all know what that means. Alright, so peace, love, and light, guys. I love you guys like I love myself. I share.